One of those games that seems to run on just about everything is Minecraft. And after all these years, it's about time we found out, if you scale things back enough, will it run with just 8 megabytes of VRAM? So today's video does come with a few caveats. Mostly, Minecraft doesn't actually work on systems this old, because the only system I've got that will run with an AGP graphics card, mostly the very hateful 3D Phantom XP2800, which is a 2005 card with 8 megabytes of VRAM, is this here Athlon 64 system, which runs Windows XP. So, luckily, I've gone through as many methods as possible, and there is still a way of running Minecraft on Windows XP. The only thing we need to do first is set up this system with this... You can't even really call it a graphics card, can you? With this abomination, so that we can see if Minecraft will actually run on it. So, why don't we crack on with the rest of the video? It'll probably go without saying that step one is going to be putting a cooler back in here because I yoinked it the other day to put on this awful board here. So let's whack in a cooler that is fused. There we go. And now comes possibly the worst part, adding in the 3D Phantom. The box is nearly coming apart now, but uh, we can't get rid of it because everybody loves seeing the 3D Phantom. Plug it into a display. Now we can boot this system up. Just to double check our 3D Phantom hasn't uh, died. And while that's all booting up, why don't we actually go over what the system requirements are? Yes, this is a very old person way of doing things because I've literally printed off very poorly the system requirements. But we can go through. Operating system. It does say Windows 10 up here. That's just been cut off. So Windows 10. Nope, we don't have that. Architecture, we do have an x86 processor. Memory, we have a gigabyte, but really that's not what we're interested in. And then processor, we have an AMD A6 from probably about a decade before these existed. More importantly though, it recommends as the minimum graphics card an Intel HD 4000. We don't have that. And we definitely don't have an AMD Radeon R5 because the 3D Phantom isn't from AMD or Nvidia. The 3D Phantom is actually an SIS 305 from 1998 or whenever they came out. But this one has just 8 megabytes, making it absolutely awful. So let's see if Minecraft will run on it. So there we go, SIS 305 Revision 90 with 8 megabytes of VRAM. Truly, truly terrible. Oh, let's try and launch Minecraft, I suppose. So, day one of testing proved rather unhelpful. The closest we actually got to anything working was one of the last alpha builds of Minecraft, which when allocated enough RAM, would almost actually load into a basic window. And then it would actually load game files as well, because I was monitoring it the entire time through the console and through Task Manager. And the moment it went to utilise our graphics card, it would freeze up. On occasion it would take out the entire system with it, which is never what you want to see. There was one time though where we got an error, and it only popped up for a brief second just before the system shut itself down. But it was the one thing I was dreading the most, which wasn't just a VRAM problem, it was that the OpenGL side of the card wasn't actually compatible with Minecraft. I mean, it makes sense, this thing hardly has support for it at all, but it should at least on paper be able to launch the game with what it comes with. Which got me thinking, maybe there are drivers out there which can possibly get us past step one, launching the game. I ended up spending the rest of the evening going through what little there was in the way of SIS drivers. And I went through a couple of them with absolutely no luck whatsoever, until I stumbled across a cabinet file of SIS drivers provided by Microsoft, only they only provided this through the Windows Update service for Windows XP. And it's worth mentioning that these drivers don't actually run or install. I had to extract each file individually, manually install the drivers, which is the reason why you're seeing a CRT here, because for some reason these drivers from Microsoft displayed in such a weird refresh rate by default that no other display I own could begin to understand the signal other than a CRT. 
But after what seemed like an eternity waiting for them to install, they actually did work, and given these drivers are likely designed solely for compatibility on these wretched SIS based cards, it does seem like Microsoft have got some trickery going on under the hood that enabled better OpenGL support. I have no idea how good it is, but it seemed to be enough to actually make Minecraft now launch. And so with the very last alpha version of Minecraft we had a proof of concept. Minecraft will launch on 8MB of VRAM, but we don't want to run the alpha version. We, we want to run Minecraft Minecraft, one of the finished final versions. And just how new of a version can we run before we bump into another roadblock? Well, thanks to a group of people arguing about OpenGL specifications over on Linux forum, it turns out that Minecraft's requirements, at least when it comes to OpenGL support, stayed the same from 2009 right up until the release of 1.7. So any version before this should work. And lo and behold, we were able to launch Minecraft 1.6.4 with no problems. Well, I say no problems, the game would run in a single digit frame rate and had a tendency to crash almost immediately. You could probably get about two minutes of gameplay and then it's gone. And it's probably because we have no VRAM and these drivers have a surprisingly high amount of overhead, probably because they're trying to emulate some OpenGL calls the card simply couldn't understand. All we had to do now was a little bit of optimization. We had to remove as many effects as possible, and by that I mean all the effects, and scale things back down to the beautiful resolution of 240p. And we should, by all accounts, have just about made Minecraft playable on 8 megabytes of VRAM. So you now join me at the start screen of Minecraft running with 8 megabytes of VRAM. And it has taken probably two days to get here. But we are running this with the 3D Phantom XP2800, which is the worst graphics card we've ever used on the channel, but also the newest card we own with 8 megabytes of VRAM. This is from 2005, there's a full video on it in case anyone's interested. But what we want to see is how playable actually is this? Now we are recording it uh, on the laptop down here, and we are also seeing it in this screen here. I'm trying to record it in the best quality I can, but it turns out 320 by 240 which is the lovely resolution we're in, is really difficult to actually capture properly. So we're going to be flicking between the two views just to sort of get an idea and we're going to see how playable it is. I have set up a small server running on the laptop here to take some more load off things. So if we join this we should now actually be in game. You can see the resolution by <laughs> how stupidly large the mouse is. Uh, it does like to drop out, it has taken a long time to get here without it crashing, because trying to launch the game, sometimes it'll run into OpenGL errors, sometimes it'll run into VRAM errors, I mean most of the time it's running into a VRAM error. I'm hoping it'll launch this time, this is the third attempt of trying to show this off. The last couple of times it's dropped out, it's crashed, the system has randomly rebooted, it has been a nightmare to get here. But we are now in-game. Let me just set the time to day. So we are now daytime, and as you can see, if I open up F3, we are actually getting an almost playable experience. It's not a good experience, but it is one that is um, playable, just about. So I can show you the settings we're using. We are running the game with Optifine. Fast graphics, tiny render distance, no smooth lighting, no fog, no clouds. Do not touch the advanced OpenGL at all. We have OpenGL 1.1. I made the mistake of clicking that and it was three hours to fix it. It broke everything. Uh, fog is off, server textures are off, details are all on fast or turned off. Animations don't exist anymore. Quality wise, all of this is off. And performance wise, none of this really matters. We just want all of this as simple as possible. The main thing is we are running in the 320 by 240 resolution here. That is as low as we can get it to go. And you can see we're running on a 3D Phantom by the lovely, awful output quality where it sort of scan lines the screen across on an LCD. But let's just go and see how playable this actually is. Can we actually make any progress at all? We'll just try and play through a brief bit of the game. 
and see if we can get through to, I don't know, the first night or so. But what is quite impressive is that it is running. We are using a texture pack, which does stop the crashing. It is an 8x8 texture pack that I found randomly online. And fortunately, we've spawned in a rather intensive area, so we can actually see that despite all its flaws, it is actually quite playable. As long as you actually get to this point and it doesn't crash, you can quite easily enjoy Minecraft. Now, this is better than Half-Life 2 was, because you can actually sort of see what you were doing, but getting Half-Life 2 to run was a lot easier, because we don't actually have OpenGL support beyond 1.1, but Microsoft seems to have released a driver for the SIS series that emulates a lot of the OpenGL stuff. So I think the Athlon 64, which you can hear ramped up a little bit there, is taking quite a lot of the strain for processing some of the OpenGL effects. Luckily, this is the most advanced version of Minecraft we can run that will still support it. 1.6.4 and 1.6.5 are the last version that will run on here. Anything newer will simply just refuse. But it's, it's running fairly nice, to be honest. We can go a few places, see what it does. It's going to take, I think it's going to take a little while for some areas to update. We are running over wireless on Windows XP. I want to get out of this uh, this forest and see how other biomes look, but um, I don't know if we're going to be able to, because I can't really see far into the distance. Things sort of just pop in as, uh, as it's happening and the frame rate does drop. There we go, we've got a nice little cove here. It does actually look pretty good in 320 by 240. I've definitely seen it look worse than this. The controls uh, are awful. They are really, really bad. But it does work. The problem is trying to drag everything when your resolution's this small. You're going to miss bits, and you're going to find problems in places you didn't know they even existed. But we are making a good deal of progress with uh, trying to actually do something with this. I really don't know what I should be doing right now because I'm struggling to see. It's, 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 we found, I think that's coal. I think, is it coal? That is coal. Look, see? You can just about make out what that is. We really are, we are, really are scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to what this graphics card can do, but every time we test the 3D Phantom, we will find a way to get something bodged onto working with it, because for some reason people love seeing the 3D Phantom. I have no idea why it has become almost a staple of the channel. I keep it on display in the background of videos now, because people's weird love of this truly terrible graphics card it is probably getting more use today than it's had in 20 years. Why, seriously, why would you want one of these? It literally is a 20-year-old graphics card. Really, the technology is from the 90s, but it's working. That's the main thing I'm going to give it here is it actually does work. I'm actually a little bit astounded. I was expecting it to crash by now, but apparently, no. Apparently it is just going to keep on working. Now, it's not exactly going to be a performance powerhouse. I don't think anyone here would have ever expected it to be a performance powerhouse. And it's very easy to lose what tools you're using because without this texture pack, as I've said, the game will straight up crash. And uh, without this texture pack, you can actually see what you're doing. So, um, it's one of them situations, a bit like Half-Life 2. You either play it like this, or you can play it slightly better and it'll crash. All the versions of Minecraft, I will say, do run better, but do still have the same issues with crashing. And if you actually want to get anything resembling a playable frame rate, you are going to need Optifine. So, yeah. I, I really don't know what else to say other than we've now got an 8 minute demo showing that Minecraft will work on 8 megabytes of VRAM. I am actually astonished. I am act I'm truly astonished that this works. But there we go. Minecraft on 8 megabytes of VRAM. I didn't think it'd be possible, but apparently it is. So that's good. 
so there we have it. Minecraft once again proving it can run on absolutely anything. Genuinely, it will do all right on 8 megabytes of VRAM, and this really is a worst case scenario. Then again, you have also seen videos out there of people running this on similar Nvidia cards of the 90s. Just fortunately those cards, well, their drivers actually work, and I'm sure the ATI cards from the 90s would even fare better than this. The difference is though, this is a 2005 graphics card which makes it somewhat modern. It's probably the newest card out there with 8MB of VRAM given you can find 2009 versions of these cards. And somehow they will actually launch Minecraft which is sheer insanity. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching. I'm sure there will be other 8MB challenges people will want to see. I don't want to do them but People love seeing them, and they are interesting, I suppose, at the end of the day, seeing how far you can push things with the smallest amount of VRAM you can get on a modern-ish system. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and good night. This is more of a little dumb thing, but if anyone was wondering what it looks like when it's actually um, on the desktop, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the actual resolution we're playing in. That, that's it. I can't even get my finger on there because my finger is nearly as big as the window. We're playing as this, stretched up. So uh, that is your resolution choices here. Enjoy.